And uh, we're going to go to the phones to Thomas in Sweden. Aloha, Thomas. Welcome to the show. What's on your mind? Aloha, Michael. Thank you. You uh, talked about uh, Gordon Brown ordering the Bank of England to sell its gold. Yes. What do you get when you sell gold? Magic beans or something? You get paper, pieces of paper. Oh, I could have sent him some of those. <laughs> no, basically, if, uh, it's not just the fact that they were dumping their gold reserves, you know, in exchange for cash. It's the way in which they did it. They literally cheated themselves. And very obviously, the goal wasn't necessarily to increase liquidity for the British government, but to make sure gold prices stayed down. Because the moment gold prices start up, people are going to close their savings accounts, they're going to sell off their stocks, and they're going to move over to own precious metals, and that will make the uh, financial institutions and banks instantly insolvent. And so there is a huge financial incentive for governments and banks to do two things. One, suppress gold and silver prices. Two, rig the stock markets as high as they can. Oh, okay. I thought they got something valuable, but... It was part of the scheme to, 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 to keep the fake thing going. Yeah, it, it, it was a scheme to basically keep gold prices down. Every time gold has started up, from some mysterious source, a huge amount of gold gets dumped onto the market to drive the prices back down again. In fact, there was this very interesting story the other day where uh, 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 there was a huge amount of silver being moved. Uh, which normally would drive silver prices up, but at the same time the silver was being moved, uh, there was a huge amount of short selling of silver going on at the same time to try and drive the price back down again. So yeah, it's all being manipulated, and we think the silver and gold has been oversubscribed or overhypothecated, and most of it isn't really there anymore because it has been sold onto the market to try and keep the gold and silver prices down. Uh, so I don't know what the U.S. is going to do if uh, more countries like Germany start saying we want our bullion under our own control. And people are starting to already say, ooh, bad Germany, bad Germany. They're putting their own nation's interests above that of the collective. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to suborn your own interests to the collective and just keep the gold in one pile so we can shuffle it around to meet our immediate needs of, uh, of our most holy faith in economics. Okay, thank you, Mike. I'll let you go, and maybe somebody will come up with a better question. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, well, thank well, that was a good question. Good question at all. Interesting article just came in from The Guardian. Um, apparently, 80 chief executives here in the United States of America, from companies including Microsoft, J.P. Morgan, General Electric, have gone public with a call to increase taxes and cut spending to address the U.S. debt. In other words, austerity. Once the election is over, they're going to hit you with austerity. You must make do with less so that the banks can have more. You must make do with less so the banks can have more. These CEOs are the ones who created the debt problem. And now they want to loot you to get themselves off the hook. I don't think so. We'll be right back. 